say hello to the Nito Theory. And a cool little quick pan through it. So that is the Nito Theory. This bad boy right here is four inches of carnage for this backyard. I mean, I literally just went through like five batteries on it. I put it together really quickly. So this thing is built very ugly. Wires everywhere. Wires everywhere. I'm using the KISS. CC compact controller all in one, which was a pain in the ass. And the Tornado 1407 3600 KV motors. And as you can see, the prop's bent. I only bent one prop. And actually, I still flew with that on there just fine. Motors, motors did come down blistering hot. So I'm not sure if it's the best uh, four inch setup. But this is what everyone's running on the four inches right now with the super lights that. Uh, Bob and Brian Morris have been advocating and so I was really excited to test this very very excited to test this um, and I had Nick throw together something based off of the if you can look at the plate it's based off of the fastback so it's a unibody three millimeter with the two millimeter top and I actually just inverted it when I got it I saw that the battery could fit on top and the props would work around it because I wanted that super nice center of gravity. I've been wanting to test that for a while because this is the actual uh, orientation of the frame it was supposed to be but uh, we're going to call it the inverted theory then. But it's a lot of fun. Uh, what you're about to see is some straight carnage in my backyard. It, it does, I, I don't know, this may be better than my 5 inch, at least in the backyard. Although I did feel, well, you know what, watch it and then I'll talk to you afterwards. So what'd you think? To me, that was really insane. It was a lot of fun because I don't think I've ever been able to push my backyard quite as hard as I did with that quad. And that's because even at full throttle, it's able to handle tight spaces like this backyard is. I can never go full throttle on a five inch quad for more than a blip. Because if I, if I blip right here at full throttle, I'm all the way to the other side in a split second and I'm having to let off pretty much right away. Otherwise, I go smash into the fence, which I've done. So it was a lot of fun. It's going to be great for tight courses. I'm going to try it on UTT sometime next week. I'm actually going to put it up against my five inch quad on a UTT um, because I want to test the disloading theory back to back. So I'll probably do like Bessel or Tsunami. Those are my two favorites and they have a lot of turns. So I'll put it against that. I'll actually get my disloading numbers together for each quad and, and see if I can actually match my five inch, if I can shed some weight on my five inch to match the disloading theory numbers as close as possible. And if you're not familiar with the disloading theory numbers, definitely go check out Bob Ruge, uh Eat Kebab on, I'll, I'll link to him down below. Check him out and or just Google or YouTube search disloading theory and, and study up on that because it's, it's pretty interesting. That's actually why we got this quad designed is because I wanted to test it myself. So it's a lot of fun. This is not going to be the production model. Uh, if it 
does turn out to be something we're going to pursue if if you guys thumbs up down below a lot we may pursue it uh, the inverted let us know in the comments uh, give us feedback uh, needle frames we've been very open beta ever since the very beginning the the needle 180 we started that one off showing the world asking for your feedback we've done it with pretty much every frame we really do appreciate the feedback i know nick loves the feedback good or bad he takes it in stride he's he's the most humble designer you can find you know he loves he's, he's got a big ego but you gotta like that about a designer he's gonna be really prideful on his stuff but he's very humble about it because he takes feedback and he implements it so Give us your feedback. Uh, if you like the inverted design, I couldn't really tell a difference. I might have to flip it over and fly it the other way with the battery underslung just to have you know some comparison with this particular quad because I couldn't, personally, I didn't tell a difference with it being the center of gravity perfectly in line with the props, but that just could be because it's a smaller quad. I don't have anything of the same, of same size to compare it with. So I may next week flip it over uh, and fly it the way it was meant to be flown with underslung battery that way I can have something more concrete to share with you But if you like the inverted design, let us know we may make some adjustments if you want it the other way Let us know like subscribe Comment. Thanks for watching. This is Justin Skinner. It will be fun